Mario, 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 what do you... What, what'd you grab? What'd you grab? What do you want? Where, where are we? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, we gotta do the hexagon jump from here, but the hexagon jump is so easy. Said Brick Road, and then he jumped off the level for the ninth time. Now we're down at the bottom again. We're at the very, very bottom of the level. We have to climb all the way back up for the ninth time. If I had enough coins, I would just try to grab red coins from here. Don't! Look at this. Look at this. Look at this! <sighs> the top of the level is hard. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we will not ignore the bob -omb. It's not going to happen today. Why didn't you get grabbed? Hey, this this time his coin did not just go off into a pit. I feel like we died like that a minute ago, did we not? The game has decided to take pity on me now. It's like, you know what, Brick would have that 100 coin star if... He had killed those bob -omb's the first time. Let's just give him a win. Let's just put him on the edge of the platform instead of down in the hole. Alright. Thematically, though, it is the end of the game. I kind of do... Like, as frustrating as this is, I kind of do like having a level where... Like, one mistake is the end of everything, usually. And most Mario games, when you get to the end, have a level like that. Usually they're like secret levels at the end of the game. Like the perfect run, or whatever it's usually called. Uh, which, I don't know, maybe this 100 coin star kind of counts, because typically, I mean, it's never required for completion. It's usually like a bonus at the end of the game that you unlock. This might be the 1990s version of that. Like, just a kind of a bonus star at the end of the game, where if you do screw up once, it's a long and arduous journey back. I am not treating that triangle with respect, and one of these runs, it's going to cost me. One of these runs, it's going to be like, Brick Road, you've n you're not respecting the triangle. What's the matter with you? Alright, we're good. Respect the triangle. Like that. Respect it. Know where the triangle is, and be a total bro. Alright, this hexagon jump, though. Should I try doing it from Mario Cam, I wonder? It's still not perfect. I don't really have enough room to double jump from this platform. Maybe it's just a matter of heights. Like, I didn't have the right amount of height on my like, moving up and down platform. You think that could be it? Maybe that's it. Okay, no, we're gonna give that one another try. Perfect. Okay, so we have to go this way now. We're gonna do this in Mario Cam too. Not forget those coins are there. Back to Lakitu Cam for this long jump. I kind of don't like the way this angle's looking either, though. This will be safer doing it in Mario Cam. So we'll be heading directly towards it. Perfect. That's just a double jump. Let's wait for these schmooshers to come out. No, these aren't the schmooshers. These are the pushers. Three times in one video. Actually, it's probably two videos now. Might be three videos. Ooh, will this be the first Super Mario 64 level that I gotta put across three videos? Lakitu, can we get out of the wall there? I guess not. I guess today is not the day where Lakitu is a bro. Eighty-six coins. We're getting there. 
That was... Well, I mean, it looked impressive, but I really should not have done that. There are coins over there. Behind me. I don't know if I'm going to need them or not. This part is super harrowing. Getting these blocks... Jump, jump, jump. Okay, if you jump, the fire... All these coins I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss them all. Nope, not all of them. I, I don't think there's 11 coins over here. We might have to do this part twice. This will point at the thwomp, but I don't think we've got 11 coins worth. There's the box below me, but... I think I've got two options here, and I don't think I need both of them. I think just one of them will do. Like, we just jump down here, get these. Okay, yeah, 99. That's cool. No, 99 is where we want to be. I'm going to long... I'm going to do something really stupid, guys. We're going to do something extraordinarily stupid here. We're going to long jump from here! See? I told you that it was an extraordinarily smart move on my part. Look how high that star is up there. Alright. 100 coin stars down. So, I mean, in reality, that, like, only, quote-unquote took a couple of tries like four or five tries maybe but because of the nature of the level it really did feel like forever because each try is very long but I don't know I feel like that's a good kind of challenge to have in Mario's endgame and that's they do put that kind of stuff in even the modern Mario games both Mario Galaxy games have like a perfect run level Mario 3D World, I think I mentioned, is a little much for me. At the very end, there's a challenge where you have to do this crazy obstacle course that goes on forever. Uh, and, like, each part of it is very strictly timed. If you screw up any part of it, you got to start all over from the very beginning. That's a little much for me, but... In general, I'm kind of okay with this, this sort of thing. Don't fall off. We gotta double jump on top of this. No, we don't. We, have to do we can, uh... Woo! We almost went down. Uh, you know, double jumping is probably the safest bet. And you don't actually stomp on the thwomp, is the thing. You just stand on the thwomp. The star should be called Stand on the Thwomp. We got two more stars in TikTok Clock. Believe it or not. I think this one, though, we can stop time for. Time jumped on moving bars. No, we cannot. That is not the one we stopped time for. So that means the red coin star in this level is star number six. That's kind of strange. So we'll go in on the three. I guess I just could have got, instead of jumping in the hole, I could have just got the red coin star then. But I don't know, I feel like we haven't incremented the death counter in a minute, he said, ironically. It's actually literally been more than a minute, but... And then when you get the 100 coin star in this level, the sense of accomplishment is so... It's like, it's, it's such a high. <laughs> Because you accomplish something extraordinarily difficult that takes a lot of uh, time and precision. That's a very strange thing to have happened there, Mario. Will you please... You know what? I want you to stand right here and flip. And then he does his little... Wah -ha! He's really proud of himself at the end of every one of those little flips. I like this, though. Honestly, you stand kind of at the midway point, you face the corner, and you make sure to get the jump from the edge of the platform at the peak. Yeah, that's it. That's really it. We gotta go back to Lakitu Cam here. 
I'm gonna go up top. Oops. That didn't do it. I guess you can't actually skip one of these moving bars. I, or you can't skip two of them. You can skip one of them easily enough. Why? Mm, okay, so he turned himself around there. I was pushing the control stick left, but because he was facing to the right, his first step had to be like off to the side. Which made for this kind of circular motion which sent him off the bar. But this one we get lots of tries, so... Perfect. So I did mention there is one other like crazy obstacle course level, course 15, which is in the same room. We will not be doing that in the next video. I do not have the heart for two of those in the same exact day. Unless I'm doing the whole game in one sitting, which I've done many times over the years. It's usually a, a six or seven hour excursion. But now everything's frozen. So we can just very easily get all of these red coins, no problem. I've seen people that are able to get the red coins with the bar with the parts not frozen. Those people are superheroes. They should be out fighting crime. Like instead of playing Mario 64 really well on the internet. Wow. Wow. That's like a just one last brilliant moment of failure at the end of this TikTok clock video. Jumping to the star and missing it. I guess it'd be even worse if I Wow. Like, if I fall enough that I actually die from this, we're not going to take the heart. I'm not going to allow myself to do it. If I can't get this star and I keep falling and taking falling damage, then I'm just going to lose a life here. And that will be the single dumbest life that we have lost in TikTok Clock. And, you know, we'll go on Mario Cam when we get up there. Because the star doesn't have a shadow anywhere. It's like, you, it's floating there in 3D space, but its actual position, I thought was right above the last coin. I guess it's not, though. Or I just missed it by a few pixels. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see? No, it's not... I mean, you can't tell with that thing in the way, but... It's not even with the center of the platform, like I thought it was. Alright, cool. We can probably do this, then. Beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for bearing with me through the uh, travails of Tickety Talk Clock. Tomorrow we'll go to a much, much easier level. Shoutouts to Thinneran for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.